There have been some reported cases of allergic reactions to the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines. While the media heavily reported on this, it is important to realize that the rate of occurrence was very rare. 11.1 cases per million doses for the Pfizer vaccine and 2.5 cases per million doses for the Moderna vaccine. Most of these occurred within 15 to 30 minutes of vaccination. And importantly, all of the people had a history of anaphylaxis or allergy. They were immediately treated and eventually safely discharged. It is thought that the allergic reaction was caused by an ingredient known as polyethylene glycol and not a direct immune response to the genetic material in the vaccine itself. PEG molecules cover the outside of the lipid nanoparticle carrying the mRNA material and it increases the stability and lifespan. PEGs are also used in everyday products like toothpaste and have been used in various drugs for many years. Polysorbate 80 is an ingredient in the AstraZeneca Oxford and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is chemically related to PEG, but so far data from these trials and vaccination programs around the world have not shown any cases of anaphylaxis or adverse events relating to this. The mRNA and DNA viral vector vaccines are all safe in people with allergies. There is no evidence that people with other allergic conditions, such as asthma, hay fever, food and nut allergy, latex, animals, insect stings, or environmental triggers, are at any greater risk of COVID-19 vaccination allergy compared to the general population. Similarly, if a person has had an allergic reaction to another vaccine, this does not automatically mean that they will be allergic to the COVID-19 vaccine. So only people who have a known allergy to the specific vaccine component PEG in the mRNA vaccines should consider getting another vaccine if possible after consultation with their healthcare professionals. Overreporting of these very rare events and the lack of detail around the circumstances or conditions that led to it in the media is often what leads to a decline in public confidence and vaccine hesitancy.